the first thing I listen for, and it's, it's great because if you're this person, you hear it instantly. Yeah. The first thing I listen for is a sympathetic player. The first thing I listen for is somebody who's like, so drummer, sorry, where are you? Like, I, you, you hear it. Within the first couple, you do it. Yeah. You hear it within the first couple of beats. You hear the person trying to figure out where the pocket is and seeing if they could, because that's what I'm doing. Like, not like, yeah, <laughs> you know, but yeah, just yeah. in the back of my head, I'm just like, yeah. where is he? Oh, oh, there he is, there he is. Yeah. Okay, okay. And if I feel someone, Dave does this, Dave yeah. did it immediately. Yeah. Uh, 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 Calvin, which is, we just, we, our ears for each other, it's like, oh, to the yeah. point where, because, so, right, so if you do that, in addition to, to your pocket being instantly established and instantly like undeniable, what ends up happening really quickly, it's happened with Dave already. Dave and I have done four shows, yeah. and two shows in, we're playing the same fill yeah. on parts. And, and that's after two weeks of rehearsal and, and, and a couple of shows. And it's just because he's listening, and I'm listening, and I'm, and I'm getting a sense of what he does, and he's trying to get a sense from me. So when you do that, fills and parts just kind of like, so every so often we like look at each other and just like, <laughs> you know, because it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's cool. It's, it's a language when that happens. So, yeah. um, so that's what I listen for. I listen for um, a, a sympathetic player to see, to see if I have someone who's going to help me with that task of making things feel a certain way. Yeah. And if, if he's not, and, and that doesn't necessarily mean that, that if the guy isn't doing that, he's a terrible player or a bad or in any way at all. It just means he's, that's just, he's got his thing. He's got his mind set on what he's playing in school. And I'll come over to him. And I'll try and see if there's a way to, like, musically what ends up happening is if he's worth his salt is he will hear what I bring to the table and he'll kind of meet me halfway at some point anyways. 